So, uh, welcome again to the Software Development Society. Uh, if it's your first time, I'm going to take you through some basics in programming, just very quickly, and if you need more time, you can do it afterwards, or another day. So, don't panic if you're an absolute beginner. Anyone here is an absolute beginner in programming? Just put your hand, don't be afraid. I'm a beginner. <laughs> Joke. So, you're a beginner. Are you? No, you're not. You're doing a master's in... How <laughs> can you be a beginner? <laughs> Right, okay. Um, today, um, it's going to be slightly different. If you've attended before, I've tried to cover like four or five different languages simultaneously. Today, I'm going to focus more on Java. The reason for that is some of us had a, a mock exam in Java on Monday, and we had to develop this application there called Unifood Grub Card. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much what the application looks like. Uh, you have a few options to top up card and then maybe sort of like go to, to the cashier and then sort of like buy in food from the catering company called Union Food. Um, and it's an object-oriented programming language. Uh, who knows what object-oriented programming is? Since all of you are experts in programming, no one put their hand up. Who was an object-oriented programming language? What's the difference between objects and non-objects language? Who knows the answer? Come on in, run. Sitting at the back, hide away. What's the difference? You can create objects and call a formula. Yeah, and non-object language? Non Give me an example of a non-object language. C. C. Right, and an <coughs> object language? C++. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, but what's the, what's the difference? Like, remember last week what I said about C and C++? Well, Alistair, you know? Objects and... Difference between non objects and just take a stab. <laughs> and it's very easy. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the answer. Um, I'm going to keep it very simple so I don't complicate it, and then I'm just going to give you a quick summary into it. Um, basically, the difference between C and C is C has no concept of object oriented programming, C does, which we're going to cover uh, five different concepts in object oriented programming languages, which includes encapsulation. Inheritance, polymorphism, overriding, overloading. If you don't know what I mean, we're going to do another class more in detail in that. But I'm sure you do. But you just do. So I'm going to start the, the session now.